Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian and African boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. FA, the one only at Jagba, bro. He's currently sparring with Tyson Jessica King Fury in preparation for his fight against Frank Sanchez so both of them are epping each other Fury of course sparring different people he's been sparring the likes of Ajagba the likes of Christian Thun the likes of uh, Michael Hunter and many more Ajagba has been sparring top elite heavyweights in preparation for his, his fight uh, on July 2024 on the Undercard of Fury Water Trilogy. This is very good, right here, I must say. Ajabba, looking at Ajabba, right here, King. Ajabba is a tank, though. You know, he sparred Fury for many rounds and his face still look very fresh. Ajabba is a tank, and I'm liking this. Ajabba next to Fury, he doesn't, he looks very, like, he looks huge. You know, Fury, is Fury really 6'9? You know? Oh, is Fury actually 6'7 or 6'8? I don't know, man. It's a little bit weird. Uh, good development for Ajagba. I can't wait to see his fight against Frank Sanchez. A uh, big fight, and we Nigerians were behind him 100% that night. I'm really, uh, we have three Nigerians, okay, adding water to, to the, to, you know, to it as well, uh, who, who are fighting July 24th, okay. Joe Joyce against Carlos Takam, Ajabba, Fran Sanchez, Wilder Fury. Let's go around here. Uh, Ibrahim to give his, his, his quick take on this. Yeah, but bro, it's, so, it's always good, isn't it? It's, it's, it's sharpening the iron. That, that, that can only be good. You're fighting the heavyweight champion. Like this, this is a good sort of measurement for where he's at for him anyway. Obviously, Fury's using him to do what he wants to do. But for Jagba, he's also using Fury to do what he wants to do. You know, he's measuring, saying, okay, am I at this level? Or what do I need to do to get to this level? So either way, when you're sparring, when you're sparring competition at that level, it's massive, man. You know, and he's at the stage now where he can really absorb and actually start utilizing what he's learning. Because, you know, sometimes when you're sparring these guys and you're very, very fresh in your career, it's obviously good because you're learning stuff, but it's not really stuff that you're going to be implementing in your next fight and actually be able to start challenging them. But Ajab is still at that stage where, you know, he, he could really, really take in a lot of the information he's getting from this and, you know, if he's smart enough, utilize it. So, yeah, man, it can only be a good thing, 100%. Thanks, brother. Uh, I do really appreciate it. Uh, Isioma, you're taking Ajab by sparring Tyson Fury. What he promoted you seeing his next fight against Fran Sanchez? All right, brother. So yeah, your take. Yeah, I, I think it is a good development. Um, you know, Frank Sanchez has better leg and head movement than um, than Ajaba. Ajaba is still improving on those on those two, and sparring Fury. Like Ibrahim did put it, it's it's um mutually beneficial for both of them right mutually beneficial ajaba has that right hand power punch wider has the right hand power punch okay fury has the head and the leg movement sanchez has better head and leg movement than ajaba so i want to hope that sparring fury will help ajaba ajaba might think that he's Parent Fury for Wilder, not necessarily knowing that, um, not necessarily knowing that he's also gaining from from this power session because they both are fighting on the same night. I want to hope that this would would come out well for Adaba, help him in his movement because um, clearly and truly this is going to be his toughest fight. Now, whether he knocks out Sanchez in the first round, if that happens is not consequential right now until that happens the fact is this is going to be his toughest competitor in his fight fighting career so 
yeah it's a good one and yeah you observed rightly i mean i was looking at the height differences and the height difference and i was wondering if he is actually six nine and that by six six because it seemed like there was just an inch difference between the two of them. Uh, Abjaba looks good. He looks in good shape. Uh, let's just hope that his tank stays intact, just in case Sanchez might want to stretch him the whole nine yard. If it goes the distance, I might be afraid for Abjaba, but. If it doesn't go the distance, then a jaguar has what it takes to knock some chips out. Thanks, brother. I do appreciate it. Todd Jaguar. Your take on this, brother. Everybody said it's. I'm. Um, it, I saw that. I actually saw that post yesterday, and it, it's pretty good that you know he's able to get some quality sparring in, because let's be honest, when he was with. Um, Ronnie Shields, I, I just feel like he, he wasn't progressing though. He wasn't getting he wasn't getting any quality sparring from who from whom for who he who he need, needed to get the sparring from. And it, it showed in in, 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 in in the ring because eventually, you know, I've 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 said this before, you fight you fight bump you fight um, uh, people on who are nine to five workers eventually you'll be on the same level as them you know you you spar somebody who's in a league constantly eventually you'll be on the same level as them and that's just the way that's just the way things work even in in in, in the uh in in life in general you know you you hang around with somebody who's uh who's um who's well groomed and has his shit together and you don't have your shit together eventually you're gonna start having your shit together you know that's just the way life is i had i heard is saying hang around with enough billionaires they're going to be the next one or something like that you know so i'm glad ajag was able to actually um uh, uh, uh he's actually able to get some quality sparring in, and i'm pretty sure there's some qual good quality sparring in, in 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 um in vegas i know i know vegas has some has some quality uh uh, uh people in there whom he could um he, whom he could spar you know hopefully he's, he's getting he's getting there as much as he can you know, even reach out to his uh, brother. Um, what's that? Uh, the uh, um, Nigerian nightmare. What's his name? Kamaru Usman. Uh, no, 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 he lost. Samuel to, um, Peters. Oh, Samuel Peters. Okay, okay. No, 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 not Samuel Peters. The, the cruiserweight that went to Anthony Joshua's camp. Who? Um, he went to Anthony Joshua's Lara, camp. Lara, Lara no, 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 no. There's a listen. There's another Nigerian brother we don't speak about enough. Uh, at at the time. No, he's a cruiserweight. He lost. He oh, lost okay, him. okay. Raymond's Raymond's brother, Raymond's friend. Pochi. Uh, no, no, not. Okay. No, 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 Pochi. Um, um, this guy that is connected to Dillian White. Uh, I can't remember. Dillian White. Yes, Shariako. Okay. No, no, no. That's not him either. Listen, oh, he, he, he lost recently. <laughs> he's in a Mayweather camp. He's he's under oh, Mayweather. Oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. Tabiti. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Andrew, Andrew Tabiti. 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 Tabiti yeah. Sure, that guy got some. Car. His hand speed is pretty up there too. But that would be. That would also be somebody I will. He lives in Vegas. That would be somebody I would reach out to. If I was in. Uh, if I was in FA's camp, like, hey, can you spar FA for us? And I. I and and and, and Tabiti has a, a way better hand speed. There's, you can't. Nobody can deny. Uh, can't. Can't argue with me on this. Than. Um, um, Sanchez and way better footwork than Sanchez, and I believe that wholeheartedly. So if 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 I was there, I'd get in there. There's some, like I said, there's some good quality sparring partners in Vegas, and I hope FA uses that to his advantage, man. I really hope so. Thanks, brother. I do appreciate you for that. Uh, Adewale. Yeah, brother. Man, people have already touched on every single part of this conversation i know but we still want to hear your take okay you know what i'm looking at it from a different perspective now um it's iron sharpens iron right and both guys are under top rank so it's probably a situation where tyson fury is looking for someone that can replicate deontay wilder and the closest thing they could find is ife achagba 
Efe Ajagba is almost six foot seven. I believe he's six foot five. He has a long reach and he's a power puncher. So yeah, he's kind of similar to Wilder, but um, when it comes to looking at it from Efe Ajagba's perspective, does Tyson Fury replicate Frank Sanchez to an extent? I'm just thinking out loud now. Hmm. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, it's it, it I, it's definitely beneficial for Tyson Fury to be sparring Efe Ajagba at this point. For Efe Ajagba sparring Tyson Fury, it's also beneficial to an extent, but I just don't think you can really compare the dimensions of Tyson Fury to Frank Sanchez. Sanchez is six foot three. Fury is six foot nine. Six foot they four, are I guess. Six foot four. Uh, it might. It huh. must be six four, not six three. I don't know. I don't think. Oh, so. six three, six four. I mean, at the end of the day, man, it it shows this entire sparring thing shows a lot around top rank. It's top rank fighters sparring top rank fighters to help them sharpen their tools. It's a good thing for Ife Ajagba. I don't like Tyson Fury, but I love Ife Ajagba. I want him to knock out Frank Sanchez. I hope he knocks out. If Ife knocks out Frank Sanchez, he's already in line for a world title. He's going to be in line for a world title. And I really want that to happen. I want Ife to beat Frank Sanchez. If the fight goes the distance, like Isioma says, then that might be scary because Sanchez, I think, is a better boxer. He has more experience. But on the professional level, if he is, is a savage, man, if he is a killer, he has a very, very good punch placement. A straight right hand. He knows how to land that punch. He knows where to hit you. And you're going to fall. If he. So, man, it's going to be an interesting fight. It's an interesting matchup. I, I respect the guys that put these two guys together. And I respect the two guys for taking the fight. If he and Frank. And I wish, even though I want the better man to win, but I still want Efe to win more than I want the better man to win, if that makes sense. Efe, Efe Ajagba is, is currently, bro, this guy is sparring some top guys, huh? He's sparring Jerry Addison, who has very slick movement, different from Fran Sanchez, but still very slick. Sparring Tessie Fury. He's also sparring Christian Ton, even though Christian Ton is not as slick as uh, Fran Sanchez, but he's a bigger version of, let's say, maybe he's a future opponent. Listen, I'll have to say, I know you guys are saying if it goes the distance, FA might lose. But listen, man, you have to take into account that FA is a pressure fighter, right? And Frank Sanchez is not a pressure fighter. And I, I believe if if FA could, if FA, and FA does not, listen, if, if you look in his fights, you never seen you never seen that guy stop throwing punches even when he's tired. So I, I got to believe that FA won't, FA to, to lose our points is going to be like Frank Sanchez has to really be, Put it, put it on F.A. Ajabu, which I don't see him doing. You know, F.A. is the guy like, uh, you you throw a punch, I'm, I'm going to throw a punch right back at you. It's, I'm going to eat a punch, I'm going to throw one, I'm going to throw one right back at you. You're just not going to punch me and keep going away. It's not going to happen. That's kind of, that's the kind of guy F.A. reminds me of. You know, he's a pressure fighter, which I think is going to play a major, major role in in, 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 in in this fight with Frank Sanchez. You know what I'm saying? So, but, you know, I, this this fight is, the, I'm, you, you uh, 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 they 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 did sm they did a very smart thing bringing FA in under for this undercard because they needed to make sure people are gonna watch this fight. So I think that was an absolute smart move with this fight. Yes, brother, I do definitely agree. So guys, I want to say thanks to each and every one of you for supporting the channel. Raya is the home of Nigerian African boxing. You know we always give you guys nothing but extraordinary bangers. Stay tuned for more Susie Bangers. Grab by your surprise. All right, my brothers. I'm, I'm about to deep, man. Thank you so much for the good conversation this morning. You didn't hear anything from Olajide, though. I don't know why.